Today I'm going to be reviewing the latest air purifier from Lavoie, this Lavoie Vital 200S. It first came out in January last year and it impressed us so much in our testing that this is now the device that we recommend to most people. Now if you don't want to watch the full review, here are the five things that I really like about this device and the three things I don't really. The first thing is how well it did in our performance test. It managed to remove all PM1 pollutants in just 21 minutes, which considering its price of $189.99 is really impressive. It also only pulled 45.5 watts at its highest fan speed, which will keep long-term running costs low. It has an auto mode and full app functionality with the V-Sync app. I also like that it has a removable pre-filter. Now every air purifier will need the pre-filter cleaning, so having something that you can take out of the device and wash it over sink is so much easier. I also like that the gas carbon filter is the pelleted activated carbon versus the cheap impregnated fabric that you find in some other devices. Now the three things I don't really like, the first one is the filter itself. So the HEPA and carbon are combined, so this means that if you have to change the carbon aspect of the filter, you have to throw the filter away with the HEPA, which is far from ideal. Now, considering that this device has been out for over a year now, it's a real shame that you can't buy it in Europe. Finally, the whole issue with Dyson making a complaint to the Better Business Bureau about Lavoie's use of the term HEPA. Now, I'll go into detail about this, but it's not great luck for Lavoie, so it's something that I don't appreciate. Right, let's jump into the full review for this device. Whilst design is not the most important aspect of choosing an air purifier, this device is going to be on show in your home, so it's something I always like to consider. Now, personally, I really like the changes that Lavoie have made over the original Lavoie Vital 100. So, in this device, they used a plastic, shiny, it just looks like a white box. Whereas you can see the changes that they've made here with using these black curves around the outside. They've made the, the, the top control panel black and they've also used the ventilation holes as a design aspect rather than just a flat box like we saw with the older edition. You can really see as well the design changes being implemented on the smaller version, the Vital 100S, which again uses the same design aspects that they use. I personally really appreciate the matte feel versus the shiny feel in the older version. And there's also one other thing that's worth mentioning, and that's about the power. So in the older mode, the power cord is actually just attached to the device, so you can't remove it, which just makes it a little harder to maneuver it into positions depending on where you're using the home. Whereas with the new, with the Vital 200S, you have a removable plug. And again, this might seem a minor thing, but I wish more manufacturers include devices like this. It just makes it easier to use in the home. Now, if you've used a Lavoie air purifier before, you will recognize the control panel as it uses all the same icons that we see in other Lavoie air purifiers. I really appreciate this because it makes it easier for if you've used one of these devices before to know exactly what you need to do, whether you've got the, the fan options here, the timer mode, a child lock, and also the ability to switch the lights off and on, as well as the auto mode. Now, when this device detects pollutants with its onboard air quality sensor, this ring will change color. A standout feature that I saw with this device was something that I had previously seen with the premium device, the Lavoie Everest Air. It's enabled with inside the app, and it means that if the lights go out, then the device will automatically detect this and reduce the fan levels accordingly and switch the lights off. These might seem minor to you, but this means that you can just leave this device running and it will fit around your lifestyle without having to set it up. Before performing any of our in-house experiments, I first went over to the Energy Star website to see if a KDAR lab report exists for this device. Now, KDAR is short for Clean Air Delivery Rate, and it's a test, a lab test from the Association of Home Appliance Manufacturers, which is basically the gold standard of how well an air cleaner can remove pollen, dust, and smoke from the air. I was pleased to see that a KDAR report did exist for this device, and the results were impressive. The Lavoie Vital 200S had a smoke KDAR of 242 CFM, dust 263 CFM, and pollen 240 CFM. 
They also recommend a room size of 375 square feet, assuming you want four point air, air changes per hour. It also had impressive energy stats with an energy usage of 268 kilowatt hours per year, which compares very favorably with the Lavoit Core 300, a much older, lower performing device, which still pulls 264 kilowatt hours per year. Now these KDAR scores are impressive, but we also want to test it for ourselves of how well it can remove PM1, PM2.5 and PM10 from our test room. One of the things I mentioned I didn't like about this device was the whole issue with Dyson making a complaint to the Better Business Bureau. Basically, Dyson had a problem with Lavoit using the term HEPA in its marketing materials. They made a complaint to the BBB who upheld the complaint and in response, Lavoit removed the term HEPA from some of their models. Now, thankfully, they didn't remove it from this device. So you can see here, it still uses the term true HEPA in its marketing materials and on the device itself. So we can assume because Lavoit didn't remove it from this device that this still is true HEPA. Now you can see the difference between the two filters with, with the smaller, this is the, the, the smaller Lavoit Vital 100S and the Vital 200S. You get a much bigger filter for this, uh, but the, the Lavoit Vital 200S still suffers from the same issue that we saw with the Vital 100S, which is that the carbon filter is attached to the HEPA. So that means that if you fill the carbon filter, this carbon filter is likely to run out before the HEPA. So likely you might see that it needs replacing every six months, but the HEPA might have another six months of life on it. But in this situation, you're gonna to have to throw the whole thing away. It'd be much better to have a separate carbon filter so that you could change whichever is needed first. Assuming you have to change the filters every 12 months, OEM filters are gonna cost between $49.99 and $64.99 depending on which filter variant you go for. If you're willing to go down the generic route, you can find generic filters for $20 per year if you're willing to buy two at a time. It's one of the reasons why I always recommend that most people should go for popular brands like Lavoie, Coway, Winex, because there's always a lot of generic filters out there on the market. One thing to be aware is that the filter costs for a year are about the same with the Lavoit Vital 200S and the smaller Lavoit Vital 100S. The Lavoit Vital 100S recommends you replace the filters every nine months and they're slightly cheaper, whilst the Lavoit Vital 200S are pricier filters, but you only change them every 12 months. This is the reason why I always recommend that people go for the biggest unit that they can live with because the filter costs are actually gonna be around the same, but you get much better air cleaning performance. As with the Vital 100S, the Vital 200S arrives with a standard filter, but when it comes time to replace it, there are a couple of options available. You have the toxin absorber, pet allergy, and smoke remover. Now I reached out to Lavoie to ask them how much carbon was in each of these filters and they told me that the standard filter comes with 250 grams of carbon whilst the other filters all contain 400 grams of carbon. So if you're not happy with the odor removal of the standard filter then I would recommend looking at the pet allergy or toxin absorber as these are priced at $59.99 and all come with the top max of 400 grams of carbon. Now be aware 400 grams of carbon is still not massive compared to devices like the IQ Air Health Pro Plus who measured the activated carbon in pounds. It has over five pounds of carbon so that's a device you may want to look at if you have serious issues. But if you're not happy with the standard filter, then it's good that there are options available. Now be aware that Lavoit Vital 200S will arrive with the HEPA filter, carbon filter inside a sealed plastic bag. Be sure to remove it from this plastic bag, otherwise the device just won't work. I have too many emails from people who reach out wondering why their device isn't cleaning the air, only to realize that the filter is still in the plastic bag. Whilst we look at reported performance data and KDAR reports from the Association of Home Appliance Manufacturers to identify units that could be high performers, we also want to test for ourselves how well a device is at removing these particles from the air. Now we tested the Lavoit Vital 200S in the same room that we test over 70 different air purifiers. In a room measuring 728 cubic feet, we first fill the room with incense smoke. We then use a purple air air quality sensor to track the levels of PM1, PM2.5 and PM10. We can track these levels continuously so we can produce a graph to see how effective this device is at removing these tiny particles from the air. 
when we tested the Lavoit Vital 200S, it managed to clean our test room of all PM1 pollutants in just 21 minutes. This compared really favorably with other devices we had tested. For example, the Lavoit Core 400S, which is at a price of $219.99, it took 23 minutes. The Allen Breathe Smart Flex at $349 took 34 minutes, and the Koei Air Mega 150 at the same price took 33 minutes. Looking at the Lavoit Core 400S, which is higher priced than this device, but lower performing, we can't help but suggest to most consumers, if they're looking for the Core 400S, they're much better off getting the Lavoit Vital 200S. Sound is the second most important thing when looking for an air purifier, as all fans will create some level of sound, but some fans can be so loud, they can actually hurt your ears. Have a listen to the Molecule Air Mini at its high speed. This is why it's important that we measure sound levels from three feet away with a sound meter for every device at every fan speed. And the results for the Lavoit Vital 200S, at fan speed one, it was 38.3 decibels, speed two, 41.9 decibels, speed three, 53.8 decibels, and top speed, it was 57.7 decibels. Now be aware that there's a lot of background noise in our location, so it's likely that our results for speed one are an overestimate. Now according to Lavoit, this device should make between 24 and 54 decibels. Considering that Lavoit hasn't over-exaggerated the top fan speed, we can assume that speed one is likely to be between 26 and 27 decibels if we were to measure in a silent room. Now, this device performed fairly well against other performing devices. For example, the Koei Mighty AP1512 hit 60.1 decibels, the Winex 5502 hit 58.9 decibels, the Blue Air 311 Plus 59.4 decibels, it was still louder though than the Allen Breathe Smart 45i, which is one of our quieter devices, which hit 50.7 decibels. But please have a listen for yourself. It's not just filters that add to the running costs of using an air purifier. As you'll have to use these devices continuously, if you're not careful, energy costs can really add up, which is why we test all of our air purifiers running at each fan speed with an energy meter to see how much energy is used. And the results for the Vital 200S, at fan speed one, it used 5.7 one watts, fan speed two, 8.01 1 watts, fan speed three, 31.96 watts. At its highest fan speed, the Lavoit Vital 200S pulled only 44.5 watts, which assuming we run it continuously at its highest fan speed, it will only add $46.83 to your energy bill. This compared fairly favorably with other devices we tested. For example, the Winx 5502 hit 53.46 watts at its highest fan speed, whilst the Lavoit Vital 100, the older version of the smaller device, hit a whopping 45.99 watts. Based on its air cleaning performance and the amount of energy used at its highest fan speed, it's clear to me that Lavoit has improved the motor fan inside this device over previous older generations. With energy costs and filter replacements, the yearly running cost for the Lavoit Vital 200S is $96.82 if you go for the OEM filters. Now, if you choose the generic filters, you can bring this down to $66.83. This compares really favorably with similar devices that have similar levels of air cleaning performance. For example, the Allen Breathe Smart 45i was $105 a year, the Winx 5502 was $135, the Blue Air 211, $117, and the Air Doctor 3000 was a whopping $236. As I said at the start of this review, the Lavoit Vital 200S gives you access to the V-Sync app. Now I've got a chance to test a lot of different air purifier apps, and I have to say the V-Sync app is probably my second favorite that I've played with, just after the Dyson Link app. It has a really clean UX and enables you to schedule the device to come on to fit your lifestyle. There's also a number of modes that are only available via the app, so if you do get this device, install the app and play it around with it. Now the auto mode on this device is controlled by the air quality sensor at the side of the device. 
So when it detects particles in the air, it will change the color of this circle in the middle and kick on the fan speed to remove these quickly from the air. As part of this review, I tested how quickly this sensor kicked in and I was very pleased to see it kick in very quickly with just a small amount of particulates. After seeing the KDAR report for this device, I knew it was something special. But having the chance to test air cleaning performance, sound level generation, energy usage, I'm pleased to say that this is the best air purifier for most people in 2024. Whilst it's not without its faults, the fact that Lavoie has managed to cram all these features inside a high performing efficient device for just $189 is impressive. Now I regularly see this device going down to $159 and at this price it's hard to look at any other unit. The only fly in the ointment, so to speak, is the fact that the filters use combined carbon and HEPA in one filter. So if you are concerned with odors and gases and you want to find a device at this price point, you may want to look at the WinX 5500 too. It has washable carbon filters that are separate so you can replace them without throwing the HEPA device away. For most people who want to keep their room free of tiny particles and deal with the occasional odors and gases, then this is one of the best air purifiers on the market today. Now I left a link to the full review of this device in the description, which will also give you access to our in-house data and experiment videos to allow you to dig a little deeper. Now, as always, let me know if you have any comments about the Lavoit Vital 200S, and if you have this device, let me know how you're getting on.